Quantum Valley Ideas Lab is an independent, not-for-profit applied research lab based in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. We look for interesting ideas in quantum sensing and bring those ideas in-house and invest in them for three to five years to take those ideas towards a commercial-ready prototype and eventual commercialization. When you think about the places that you normally find quantum technology research being done, it's usually in an institution like maybe a university or something academic. But we're always focused more on the applicability of what we're going to be doing here rather than just looking at it from a pure science perspective. One of the unique aspects of KVIL is the interplay between science and engineering and the commercialization world or the business world. You're not blindly just publishing papers or doing research that doesn't have an application. And so the requirement there is to have people who have deep experience in business, like our founder, Mike Lazaridis. And it's a more of a flat structure because we really need people to work together to solve the problems that we uh, need to address in order to drive things towards commercialization. The collaborative approach that we have to this development is actually one of the major strengths. Sometimes when you have an academic trying to commercialize a technology, it can be, I think, a relatively lonely road. But by having a whole system by which we know what will we actually do to move this research into really usable commercial technologies, for me, I found that very sober, practical approach, very encouraging. As Qville is a not-for-profit lab, it allows us to concentrate on the research without a focus on short-term revenues and financial objectives. Once we get through the research and we've proven that the technology works and we have our prototype, we then start the exit process, creating a spin-out company, staffing the spin-out company, and then transferring and licensing that technology to Qville from Qville to the startup company to have it take it to market as a product. This is a good example of how Ideas Lab differs from other laboratories uh, generally in that we always think about manufacturability as we would take our technologies off of a tabletop out of a laboratory and then transition them to a spin-out company. The work that we're doing right now is to develop a what I'll call a multifunctional navigational device. This will combine the measurements that you would get from a, a gyroscope as well as the measurements that you would get from an accelerometer. And the idea is that by encompassing all these measurements in one system, we actually reduce drift, we reduce errors to enable new paradigms of dead reckoning navigation. So has made a strategic intent to protect our IP by filing multiple patents on the projects that we're working on. We filed over 40 patents over the last few years, which is a significant amount for an organization of our size. Those patents are sort of the lifeblood of the, of the technology that we develop and is a path for us to uh, eventually monetize or build up uh, funding of the organization through the licensing of those technologies, either to our spin-outs or potential commercial partners. We are capital intensive. It takes a lot of scientific equipment to be able to do the kind of work that we do. And so I think the role of government funding in an organization like ours is critical to apply to research. I think it's something that a lot of countries, including Canada, the United States, other nations, understand the importance of that to see the long-term benefit that investing today will create in terms of the jobs it supports, the ultimate economic benefit that will flow from all that to their national innovation strategies. The dream really was to make an organization similar to the old Bell Laboratories, but for quantum technologies. So we do a lot of different things here. We have people who do photonics, we have people who do fabrication, and then we have also a group that works on um, control systems. The lab infrastructure we built here, whether consciously or unconsciously, we've essentially built almost a linear lab where if you walk through it today at the one end of it, you've got a temperature and environmentally controlled optical physics lab, which is a great place to do the prototyping and developing things involving lasers, which is central to what we do. And then as we expand it outwards, next to that, we built the fabrication facilities where you now have a clean working space where they build the components that then get assembled in the next lab. And it continues along that way. We built facilities for radio frequency testing to test the assembled devices and so you've got this whole linear workflow where you can do everything you need to do in one environment. So Quantum Valley Ideas Lab is a great place for uh, recent graduates to come work. 
We provide this blend of uh, a near academic environment and a near corporate environment. I think that unique position provides an opportunity for collaborators, right, on both the academic research side as well as the corporate partners who might want to see how this new quantum sensing technology can make a difference for their product lines and for their business. What brought me to QVIL is the promise of doing something that has an, an immediate impact. So I have some of the privileges of leading a team of very gifted researchers while also trying to tackle a problem that is interesting, not just scientifically, but also um, technologically. People from all around the world all saw the potential of what we were doing here and came largely from academic but some industrial backgrounds and said, yes, I want to be part of doing something a different way of understanding that you know, the applicability of what we're doing was really meaningful. And so the strength of those people to make this organization, I think, is ultimately what's essential for it to succeed. And that's something I'm incredibly proud of is the team of people we've brought together.